Hey everyone, Tech OG here, representing those who are 40 and up who love to tech. And this video is going to be um, a two-in-one quick video um, about some apps that I um, discovered, found stuff um, over the weekend. I actually know the first one um, I didn't discover the w over the weekend, but um, found out about it when I got my Samsung phone. Um, this one is called Samsung SideSync. And what it allows you to do is to cast your phone screen onto your laptop computer or desktop computer. And I think that's pretty cool because, um, like I said, I'm still new to the uh, uh, having a channel game on, on YouTube. So I still have a lot to learn as far as making my videos uh, pop in a little bit and learning how to cast screen and record on screen and other things like that. So I'm still doing some research on that. But right now, I just want to use or show you this side sync app and uh, basically how you can cast your phone screen right on your laptop and show things on your phone rather than showing it on the phone screen on a bigger screen such as your laptop or desktop. And if you have your computer connected to your television, uh, you're going to have... 50 inch screen to show your stuff on, 16 screen, so sky's the limit there. So, um, like I said, I already have my phone connected. Um, right now my phone screen is blank, but this is my phone screen right here. And you can maximize the picture a little bit. And there's some icons on the side here. That you can use um, if you uh, hover your cursor over the icons it'll tell you what the icons are this top one right here uh, it says return to previous size so you can shrink it back to this size minimize basically then I'll maximize it this right here is to rotate screen which is awesome this right here is a capture so you can even take a picture of it and the picture gets saved to your um, downloads page or your downloads folder. So that's kind of cool if you want to take pictures of your screen, share or whatnot. And this right here is presentation mode. So the fourth icon from the uh, top is presentation mode where if you press it, you'll still have your image here, but then the image will also appear on your phone so that you can make presentations um, while having your phone on you. Now uh, this works through your Wi-Fi network and before I discuss how that happens, um, let me show you how you download it or how you get the um, software. So first, you, um, well, this is what I did. I typed in um, SkySync APK in the search bar for Google. And when you do it, you click on the second link, which says Side, Samsung SideSync 4.7. Click on there, it'll bring you to this page. And in this page, what you basically do is uh, download the ABK and then download the application for your computer, whichever computer you have. So if you have a PC, you download this. If you have a Mac, you download here. And this right here is the ABK or the file you need for your phone in order to cache your screen onto your laptop. So you download this and you download, well, I downloaded this because I have a PC. This is my uh, Surface Book. So that's a PC based uh, computer. And I saved the applications in a folder oh, right here, actually on my computer. So this one right here is your uh, laptop or desktop executive file that you would install onto your computer. And this right here is the APK. Now, if you do not know how to put an APK onto your phone, or basically it's a, a, a file, um, Basically, it's a, let's say you go into a, the Google Play Store and you download a game. This is the game itself right here, or the uh, file of the game. And so, this is what's being installed on your uh, phone or whatnot, tablet or whatnot. So, since this is outside of the Google Play Store and you want to put this onto your phone, you basically have to connect your phone via USB-C cable. And just open up any folder and then go to this PC and this is for PC purposes I'm not sure about Mac 
So like I said, this is PC purposes. You um, scroll down to the bottom until you see your phone name. Mine is Galaxy X9. Double click on there. And you have basically the two uh, drives on your phone. You have your regular phone drive or your phone storage, I should say. And my phone storage is a uh, maximum 52.1 gigabytes, even though it's sold at 64 gigabytes. You don't necessarily get all of your gigabytes, and we can go into a rant about that, but it's all good. Because my other storage unit is my, oh yes, 400 gigabyte micro SD card. Even though only 366 gigabytes are available, that's still more than enough space to put all kinds of stuff, so I do not complain about what's not on my phone. So I don't, don't want to put a lot of stuff on my phone anyway because it might slow down and stuff. And besides, this only has 4 gigabytes of RAM, so it will definitely slow down if you have a lot of things running or a lot of things on your phone. So I'm going to try to keep this, uh, my phone storage, as low as possible and fill up my micro SD card storage. Um, so, yep. So what you do is, um, it doesn't matter which um, storage you go to. I'm going to go to my phone storage. And what you basically do is go take the APK file of the sizing and you just drag it over into your phone storage, let go, and it will appear right here. Now basically now you have to go to your phone and find the file and install it. Uh, so for the most part, um, especially if you're using Samsung, you have a My Files or files application if you touch that you uh, go into your phone storage and find that application and install it now, oh yeah it's called my file it actually is right here now, let me make this a little clear for you sorry about that now, you like that black don't you? you you like that black don't you I'll tell you more about how to make this all black in another video. But um, what you do is um, you go to your inter internal storage, not your SD card storage. Uh, internal storage is your phone storage. You tap here. Scroll to the bottom and you will see the side sync application right here that you just dragged into the folder on your laptop or desktop. You just touch that, install it, and you're good to go. Mine's already installed. so. I don't have to show you how to do that. And I don't use the My Files, I use it sometimes, but for the most part, I use ES File Explorer, which is basically the same type of program where you can just go into your phone and install stuff and see what's in it. So we'll go into my ES File Explorer. There it is right here. And like I said, it basically does the same thing. There is the file right there. And I like it because it shows you anything that you add new to your phone. It shows it right here so you don't have to necessarily tap the in, uh, internal storage. It will show you what's been added. You just touch that, install it, good to go. So now that it's installed, let me clear these photos out the way. There you go, my phone's image right here on my laptop. This is incredible. And like I said, you can rotate the screen and everything, and that's wonderful and dandy. So if you're doing your YouTube videos or whatnot, and you want to show what's on your phone rather than holding your phone and then trying to hold your camera and focus this, that, and the other, this is a great way to get things done and show people um, instructions or things that you do on your phone. Um, so like I said, this is a two-in-one video. And um, the second thing I want to talk to you about is um, streaming... Uh, live TV applications or movie applications. Now, um, a lot of you who have been on YouTube and have been familiar with um, using your uh, Android phone for some really cool stuff, you probably already know about Showbox, Terranium TV, Mobdro, uh, UK Now. Uh, you probably know about all of those different types of programs that you put on your phone and it basically is like a cable cutter you can watch live tv you can watch movies and stuff right on your phone and of course if you have casting capabilities on your television through a fire stick or whatnot you can watch it that way pretty cool stuff especially when you go on a vacation or or just want to watch stuff and you need to watch it so 
I mean, I just kind of got into the Android scene. I mean, I had, like I said, an iPhone before. And on the iPhone, I use MovieBox. Um, I've used um, um, Cartoon Now. I think that's what it's called. And, or Cartoon TV. I can't remember the exact name, but I'll show you the exact name in a few minutes. But I might use a couple of um, applications for live TV. Mobdro is not made for iPhone. And so that's one of the biggest reasons I switched over to Android because Mobdro is the bomb D. And um, yeah, let me minimize this again. And um, like I said, I found a lot of those um, applications through trial and error or word of mouth or um, watching a whole bunch of YouTube videos and uh, trying to get information from all of these uh, different sources on YouTube. I don't use a whole lot of sources because a lot of people when they make videos, uh, of course, a lot of people's goals is to make money from these videos, especially those who have a very large fan base, 4 million, 5 million, you're making a ton, you're making a killing. I'm not trying to uh, get there, but if I do, it's, it'll be a blessing. But um, I like the videos and the people that make videos who are to the point, straight to the point, precise, concise, however you want to call it. And um, this past weekend, um, well, even before this weekend, uh, I, w I installed Madro on a friend of mine's Fire Stick because he wanted some live TV and stuff. And, and movies and or whatnot, but I did not know how to. Well, I didn't know how to put on the movie apps, but for whatever reason, uh, most of them that I put on the Fire Stick did not work on there. So I was kind of bummed out. And so Saturday morning, um, went on YouTube and um, went on my page or went on the uh, main screen of um, YouTube, and it sometimes show you shows you videos that are recommended for you. And so I saw this one video that said, put on uh, live stream TV on your Fire Stick. And I'm like, wow, that's kind of convenient where I was trying to put on apps and they did not successfully install on the Fire Stick. So I clicked on it and got to this dude for this page it's called um, Top Tutorials. And this is really cool. This dude that made his page or his channel, excellent, excellent videos. Um, I've only seen one, and that was like I said, the one that um, shows you how to install the apps on your the Fire Stick. And what I really liked about the video, um, one. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can quickly. Sorry about that. It's not very long. My videos have been kind of long because I'm long-winded. I'm a teacher, so. You get used to that, especially my students do. Even though they do say I do talk a lot sometimes, but I talk sense, so it's all good. But um, this video, three minutes, 30 seconds, very concise. Just tells you how to do it, done deal. I did it within a matter of minutes, and I have been in awe ever since. So, um, like I say, you go to Top Tutorials, just uh, type it in, go to this page, go to the videos, find the video, and basically what um, he's done is, he put the streaming apps and stuff on just a web page. So what you have to do is go to his web page and it's right here. It says uh, HTTP www.toptutorials.co.uk but you have to put a slash and then type Android after that. And when you do, you get to this page. This page right here has, look at this, it has Cody. Cody Forks, I don't even know what a fork is for Cody. I know what a Cody um, build is, but I don't know what a fork is, so I can learn about that later. So if you're into Cody, this stuff right there, right here says movie and streaming app. Sorry that it's a little bit small. Let me see if I can make it a little bit bigger for you so you can see it. There you go. I'm using my um, Sony RX uh, 103 to record this video. So um, again, um, it says movie and TV show streaming app. So you got Ter Terranium TV. You got the ad-free version. Um, oh, as far as the ad-free versions of these um, applications, um, use those on your phone. You cannot, I repeat, you cannot install these on a Fire Stick. It will not install. I learned the hard way. So if you do install a Terranium TV, download the one with the ads. Put that on your fire stick, works great. 
You got uh, Bobby HD, which is a uh, Bobby movie. Um, that used to be my go-to. That is no longer my go-to because the amount of ads on there is astronomically, it will drive you astronomically insane. So, if you don't care about the ads, Bobby movie is not too bad. But, they change. I, I don't like the changes in Bobby movie, Bobby HD, so I don't use that anymore. Showbox is good for your phone. Um, ad for you or even the, just the regular one, when you try to install it on the Fire Stick, it does not work well. So I am still in the search of finding a show box that will work well on your Fire Stick. And I'll show you a video with the Fire Stick right now. I'm just going to show you um, these applications on my Galaxy S9. There's other streaming TV apps on here that I don't know about. TV Zion, I heard about it, never used it. Streamio, if that's how it's pronounced, never used that one either. Movie Playbox, FacuT, haven't used that one. Freak Flags, that one's kind of cool. I like that one. TTV is also kind of cool. Mega Box, don't know about that one. One Box, don't know about that one. Um, Free Flux is on here. Uh, Free Flux is on here twice. Live Lounge, don't know. Coco Time, kind of know about that one. Movie Tube, no. Movie HD, no. Tubi TV, you can find that in the App Store. Cartoons HD, that's the one I was talking about that I have for the iPhone. Showbox Lite, um, basically I guess a show, maybe that one will work with the Fire Stick, I haven't tried that one yet. Popcorn Time, definitely know about that one, that's for movies, and Amazon Prime, I'm a Prime member, so uh, that works for me. Live TV streaming apps, um, the ones that I like, out of this category, UK TV Now, that right there, by far, in my opinion, the best one out of this whole bunch. Now, Maltro is more stable in my opinion I definitely like my draw I mean if I had to choose between the two um, I would choose UK TV now because of how many channels that's available and I would choose my draw because of the stability so they're both great put them both on your phone fire stick who will thank me later so let me just basically show you because I mean I mean I didn't know about UK TV now until this weekend and, and until um, going on uh, top tutorials and finding out about this page and all these cool apps. Oh yeah, you might need, um, oh, if you have Terranium, you might need an external or third party media player. So they have a couple here, the one that I would choose um, would be MX Player Pro, definitely get that one. I do have VLC installed on my phone as well, love VLC because it can read a lot of different uh, formats of uh, video. But for Trading TV, MX Player Pro works better. It's more compatible with the streams that's on Trading TV than VLC. So definitely install the MX Player Pro when you're using Trading TV. So let me get out of there and go back to my phone screen. And again, I am in presentation mode, so I can actually control it via the phone itself or with my mouth. How cool is that? I'm going to use my phone because it's a lot quicker. So I'm going to go into the uh, shows and I'm going to go into UK TV now. Look at that. Works right off the bat. This right here is ABC. So if you're watching ABC right now, whatever show this is right here, these two buff dudes right here, that's what's playing on your TV right now, depending on uh, your ABC and your country. So, US, this is what's playing in, on the US ABC. Let me go back and show you the channels. The channels are sickening, dude. This is sickening. To have this on your phone is absolutely sick. Look at this. They have TV shows from different countries. DE, that's Denmark. UK, of course, that's England. ES Espanole, US of course, but look at the amount of channels. This is just A. So, whether you know about these channels or not, who cares? They're available. You got A&E, Arts and Entertainment, ABC. Don't know what Alibi is, but who cares? I got it. Gonna watch it one day. AMC, American Movie Classics, Animal Planet. You got Arena, so you got sports channels. You got Arte, or Arts. BBC, if you, you, if you know BBC, uh, if you know about uh, English channels. So this is in England. 
So you got BBC News, you got BN Sports, BN, that's Spanish, so that's maybe uh, for a Spanish network or no, but they got a USBN Sports, so that's kind of cool. I just showed you, like I said, just these channels that you have available. BET. So if you just want to watch one of these uh, TV stations, just tap on it. So I tapped on BET, BET and it'll buffer to find the station. Uh, nine times out of ten it works. Oh no, let me correct correction. Eight times out of ten it works. If it doesn't buffer, it's all good. It'll buffer later, buffer another time. So you can't watch something on there. Let's go to another TV station. You got Bloomberg, you got you got Boomerang, dude. You got Boomerang, so let me click on US Boomerang. Booyaka. Garfield. Right here on your phone. Now again, remember I told you about that rotation icon? Let me put my phone down. Pick up my camera. That rotation. Oh, I forgot this tell us a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. But it, it's doable. Study for a couple seconds, watch the show. We click rotate. Boom, look at that. Rotate, fill screen up. So you got TV right on your laptop. And like I said, it, play, it plays on your phone, but to watch it on a bigger screen is awesome. Let me go back. Back to the station. There we go. Back to the station. So again, you got all kinds of cool stations. You can save them in a, in a favorites file. Um, and if you press the uh, little lines up here, upper left hand corner, you can get to the favorites that you save, so that you don't have to basically search through all these channels to get to the ones that you like. So just save the ones that you like. Just press a little heart, save them to your favorites file. Awesome stuff. So again, look at all of these wonderful, beautiful channels. Now, will this uh, replace cable? Yes and no. If you can deal with the stuttering or deal with not having a stream of your channel that when you want to watch it, then yes, you can ditch your cable and keep this. Watch this. It's wonderful. Like Bravo, for example. Um, I discovered over the weekend... Uh, uh oh, let me rotate it. That over the uh, uh, on the, over the weekend, that I'm, it, it uh, defaults to source one, and right now, as you can see, it's buffering; it's not coming on. Uh, some of your channels have two sources, so click the other source, and that might be the solution to you watching. Oh, oh yeah, your TV show. So this is source two for the Bravo channel. So it basically works. Like I said, go through a little bit of stuttering. Who cares? It got TV right on your phone, right on your laptop. Works great. Cast it to your TV screen. Wonderful. Take it with you on vacation. TV all day long. And it's too bad that it defaults back up to the top of the um, uh, page. So you got to scroll back down and find again stations that you want, but like I said, just put them all in your favorites, and you don't have to do this every single time. So let me just go through this some more, show you some more stations. You got your Cartoon Network, uh, different countries. You got CBC, you got CBS. CBS Drama, that's in the UK. CBS Reality Shows, that's in the UK. Cool stuff there. You got CBS Sports, so if you're watching the NBA Finals or whatever, um, you can keep, uh, catch up on there. Oh yeah, let me show you this real quick. So if you do have to do that, that's the baseball. Check this out. Well, why fast forward? I don't know if they actually work, but the pause button does. Like I said, a little bit of stuttering. The pause button works. So you can pause live TV like you would on direct TV. Unpause. Oh, yeah. Baseball when you want it. Pause when you need to use the bathroom or get something to eat. So you never miss a beat. That is awesome. Awesome, awesome. All seven didn't default back to the top. Cool. Continuing on. Yo, you got Dizzy Channel, Denmark. You got Cinemax on here. Now, another thing about this application, because there's so many different channels, um, the people that created this, they didn't, they don't, I don't know what kind of time they have, but they certainly don't have a lot of time to update this. Because when you click on Cinemax US, it is not Cinemax US. 
Well, I don't think it is. I don't have Cinemax on the cable, so I can't tell you what this is. There was one point where I tried this, and it was um, in Spanish. How can it be all the way out here? So right now it's in English, so maybe this is the Cinemax in the U.S. Check your local, local listings to see if it is. But um, the one that I've been watching that's been working cool, Action Max. So I'll watch them. Central Intelligence um, on Saturday. No, what's Saturday last night? So I watched that. Kevin Hart, Dwayne Johnson. Cool movie. Not really a fan of uh, Kevin Hart. But my boy, he's cool. You know what I'm saying? I don't hate the dude. Like I said, uh, I'm an OG. And I know he's for younger folk, but... I mean, my wife likes him, so since she likes him, I like you, Kevin. So, um, you came to Syracuse. Um, I missed out on the tickets. Your tickets got snatched up quick, and people started to sell them for double for what they were worth. So, I got to catch you on the flip. But again, my wife is a flight attendant. So, wherever you're touring, we can get there, see your show, give you some support. So, Kevin, love you. Um, like I said, just got to get more into what you do. Good dude, though. Good dude, good dude. Um, continuing on, Country Music. I think that's Country Music Channel or something like that. CNBC, CNN, Comedy Central, Cosmopolitan, for those who um, have the magazine, their show. Oh, it's in Spanish. So, good luck watching that. Unless it's Spanish. You got the CW, Destination America, Discovery Channels, Disney Channel. Look at that. Disney is taking over. They own ESPN, they own Marvel, they own Lucasfilm. They're taking over the world, yo. So, Disney, my hat's off to you. I wish I bought stock in y'all. When y'all didn't, when it wasn't worth that much, I would have been, like, super rich. So, too bad for me. And, um, I don't like y'all for those who got stock and they're spending money like it's nothing. But I'll get into something. I'm going to find me some stock. I'm going to get into that. And I'll get my monies and my riches pretty soon. You got ESPN, again, Disney owned, but ESPN, they still do what they do. ESPN U, that's kind of cool. Food Network, you got Fox, Fox Comedy. Oh, that's a IT, that's Italian. So good luck watching those, unless you're Italian. Fox News, uh, you know I am, though. I'm not watching that. I don't watch fake news. Freeform, kind of cool. The newer TV stations are on here. You got FX and F- FXX, cool. Cool movies and stuff. Golf Channel, for those who are in the golf. Masters, um, that young dude that won it, pretty cool dude. He's a Tiger fan, so I definitely like him. Hallmark Channel, for all the women that are in the Hallmark movies. There you go, happy, happy. Look at that HBO, HBO Comedy, HBO Family, HBO Signature, HBO Zone. You are good to go with these channels. HGTV, fix up your house, learn some new stuff for your house. History Channel, a lot of y'all need to watch that. What else is on here? Excuse the buffering. Definitely excuse the buffering. This really, really happens, this little buffering thing. I think we read the names. ITTV, or ITV, don't know what that is. Man, I hope it buffers quickly. I don't want to scroll back up and then have to go back down. But, oh, I see Lifetime. Uh, movies, movie star. Oops, didn't mean to do that. MSNBC, so you got new stations. You got MTV, MTV Classic. Oh, there we go, there we go. Four stop landings and subsequent launches were made. Sorry about all this, like I said, because it's starting on a um, Captain at One. Sing. Whoa. Long channel. Skill and that day. Don't know why it's still playing, so. Let me see. Maybe I have to go back out of the um, app. Close it. Sorry about this. Go back in. UK TV. Where are you? There you are. Oh, UK Now TV. Sorry that I had to go back. I'm going to scroll back all the way down so that we can see the other stations. Already said Fox, HBO. There's your ITTVs. Lifetime, pretty cool for you women. I didn't know CBS uh, on Showtime. 
I found that out yesterday. I was watching a movie in the end credits. No, the beginning credits, then it says uh, Showtime, a CBS, or show, yeah, show, Showtime, a CBS company. I had no idea CBS owned them. You know, money is everywhere if you got it. You got Sky Sports, that's uh, from uh, UK, and in Denmark and other places. So you got a bunch of sports channels. A whole bunch of sports channels. Oh, there we go. Now we're scrolling. Good, good, good. Sky News. Check out different uh, news stations from different countries. Slam, that's a uh, music thing. Uh, Sony mu Movie Channel, so you can watch movies. Uh, there's uh, specifically some from Sony or whatnot. Spike TV. Again, that's a down to Paramount Network. So basically the same thing. Sports Network, so you got Sports Net, you got all these sports, you got stars, look at that, you got stars, stars cinema, stars comedy, stars Ed, stars encore, Sundance TV, I remember that, I don't, never really watched it, but it's there, so you can watch it, you got sci-fi, TBS, turn, classic movies, that's kind of cool, so you got your old, old movies, a lot of westerns and stuff, Turner, Ted Turner, you got money dude, jealous, jealous of you, well, all your stations, TNT, TNT Comedy, TNT Series, I guess, uh, other ones, cool stuff, Travel Channel, True Movies, I guess I look at all, look at all these channels, USA, VH1, so you got more reality shows, they did the same thing as MTV did, you had to do what you got to do in order to stay a network, so I don't blame y'all, Vice Land, new, new stuff you can watch, look at that, WWE, and whatever that is right there, but like I said, look at these channels, you can't go wrong. You cannot go wrong at finding something to watch using this app. So you you got you you got to be happy right now with the advancement in technology and what is available to you. Boom, CBS. This is awesome. Like I said, touch touch every screen. You just touch what you want to watch, and there you go. Cartoon Network, U.S. Oh, you got Sorry about the starting. It works fast on the phone. Now it's fast. Streaming. But it's not streaming. This looks like sports. Even though it's tight tactical network. Again, this needs to be updated. So, developers, please get this together. Update this for us people that like it. Put on a couple ads that we won't mind because we like what you're doing by putting all this together. So let me type on the uh, tip on the uh, Cartoon Network for the UK. This is probably US. I don't watch this. This looks stupid. But kids, they love it. I rather watch Bugs Bunny back in the day. Tom and Jerry. Told you I'm OG. So again, this is basically one of the uh, streaming apps that you can get from that top tutorials page that I told you about earlier. So again, you got um, you got Mobdro, you got Swift Streams, you got UK TV Now, Live TV Net. There's ones that I haven't used yet. Freeflex, TTV. But again, my 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 main go to is Mobdro. You can't go wrong with Mobdro because of its stability. Now you do have. Same TV channels, you got ABC, you don't have as many. You got Food Network, you got Bravo, let me touch Bravo, that must hit a miss sometimes. Charge pointed a couple months back. Uh, as you can see, it glows a lot quicker than UK now. A whole lot quicker. And it defaults to landscape instantly. Oh, and the thing about Mob Drill that I don't like, that. The ads will drive you completely nuts. So you gotta get out of there, go back to Maldro, and then click out of the ad, and then you're back onto the main screen. So you got channels. So again, you got your different stations, Food Network, Bravo, H2, Sci-Fi, TNT, CBS, Spike, a and &E, USA, TBS, Cartoon Network, this is probably working US, HBO, HBO Comedy, PBS, you got, look at all these cool stations, you go through them, find the ones you like, and what I, what I also like about Mojo, it has TV shows, 
and these are stream TV shows, the only drawback is that you can't choose the ones you want to watch. Basically, let's say you want to watch um, Bob's Burgers. Touch it. Well, start to show my phone for it before it streams, but it works. Whatever uh, episode it is, that's what you watch. You can't choose the one that you watch, but it plays. It's wonderful. Great picture. Great sound. You can't go wrong with that. Definitely can't go wrong with that. Look at that classic the Moody Tunes, but that doesn't look classic to me. That looks like the Cartoon Network version. I ain't watching that one. Hopefully, it got the real classics from the 1940s and 1930s. Those are the fun ones. Sylvester and um, made by um, 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 what's that dude's name? What's that dude's name? Chuck Jones. Chuck Jones. That dude was a genius when it comes to um, cartoons. Um, King of the Hill, South Park, Simpsons, Big Bang Theory. I love Lucy. Classic, straight classic, Fresh Prince. Not Dragoon Ball, but Dragon Ball. The very first one when Goku was a kid. And Crash Land on Earth. Scrubs. 70 Show. Sorry, that's not scrolling. Scrolling on my phone, but not here. There you go. Anime Central. Doctor Who from the UK. I used to watch that when I was a kid. The old ones. Dude with the curly hair. Now, those were the best ones. I haven't watched the new ones yet, so um, don't quote me on that. Top Gear. Two Doors. Uh, Married with Children. Malcolm in the Middle. That was a okay show. Vampire Diaries. If you're into that, Arrested Development. And where's my favorite? Where, oh, there it is. The Boondocks. Even though it's only three seasons, I watch that religiously. I love that show. Huey, Riley, Robert Freeman, that's that's America's family right there. America's black family right there. They're, they're cool. And the creator, he tells it like it is, y'all. He tells it like it is. Some of those episodes can get pretty deep. deep. So, um, if you got time, Boondocks. Watch the Twilight Zone. Like I said, so many different shows. You got too many shows to watch. You got movies. And like I said, the um, streaming is slow, but the phone is cool. You got movies. You got um, movies 24-7, action movies 24-7, horror movies 24-7. Again, the drawback, you can't choose what to watch. You got to watch what's playing. Watch what's streaming. Animation movies 24-7, documentary, Star Trek versus Star Wars. So all Star Trek and all Star Wars movies all the time. So you can watch... Um, it depends on what's showing. You can watch any of the Star Trek movies. I think it's up to eight, including the new ones that are out, I believe. Or the new ones, and all the Star Wars movies. So you're good to go right there. Look at that. All the Harry Potter movies right there. Good to go. Christmas movies. If you know it's not Christmas, watch them. Mystery, musical, musicals. You have a music teacher, so this is definitely something that I would watch. So I watch, um, Mary Poppins. That's right. I said it. Mary Poppins, Little Shop of Horrors, and my personal favorite, The Wiz. Yo, watching that as a kid, that was the bomb daily. I wanted to be Michael Jackson's scarecrow so bad when I was a kid, and it never happened. Like I said, look at the amount of things that you can watch. There's stuff in here that you may not know about. Look at that Bob Marley right there. So I'm like, that's cool stuff. So again, you got a lot of these TV shows. Let me condense this, and again, you will go to the. Uh, Top Tutorials page that I told you about www.toptutorials.co.uk slash android. You'll find it on my dude's page. Top Tutorials. Check them out. A lot of cool information. Let me go back to the page because I'm like clicked on this video tab. Look at all the cool videos that he's made. Check them out. You'll learn a lot. Go down to the ones he made first, you'll see how how he came along. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm basically starting off fresh and new. Pretty soon, my video is going to be top-notch. I'm talking network TV quality movies and, and, and videos. So, definitely stay tuned to me. Definitely subscribe to my channel. Tell all your friends about me. Again, I'm a music teacher, so whenever I get time to make videos, that's what I do. I'm doing this right now. I'm sleepy as heck. Gotta get me some um, dessert in my system. So crush berries, here I come. Um, then I'll, I'll get me some sleep. Get up in the morning, tackle my teaching day. Say hi to my students and students. For those of you who subscribe to my channel, a lot of you have come to um, the, 
uh, during the day and said you subscribed and that you liked the videos. You showed them to your parents and your brothers and sisters and they're liking them too. Everyone's getting entertained by them. Hopefully you, you learn something from this and how to put some of these apps on your device so that you can now start watching some cool stuff in a problem of your hand or on your laptop screen or whatnot. So again, subscribe to my channel. Um, tell your friends about it. Um, promote me. Um, just, 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 just be happy for me. Give me some support so that I can make this the best channel that I can make it and do the best that I can to educate you and cool and new stuff. So I hope to see you in my next video.